All right, today we are going to be doing a little effect that works like this. I don't know if you can guess, but that is a scramble effect. So the text basically gets revealed as the letters scramble. I think it's pretty cool. I've seen it on some websites and uh, I knew that you could achieve that with GSAP, but the GSAP plugin that you can use to achieve that effect it's paid and it's quite expensive and i'm not gonna do that to you guys so instead of gsap unfortunately we're going to be using plain javascript it's not too bad it looks like a lot of code but it's not it's very easy for you to just replace the query selectors with the ones that you need on the page it's super easy so let's get into it all right so since we have nothing actually to design i took the liberty to add some elements like headings on the page and also buttons because I have seen an example on a website. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the website I'm talking about. As you can see, this is a button. If you hover over the button, the text scrambles. Yeah. And also this text scrambles infinitely. So we have this on hover. We have this infinitely and we also have an option for on load scramble so let's say you want to have this effect on the hero section you could do that and it's pretty amazing i honestly kind of love it uh, look at this this is so amazing right i mean it's something different let's say i have my code here i have everything commented out okay so let's start with the infinite scramble so as you can see i have commented out everything but this is uh the first effect we're talking about so it's called infinite scramble and change between two words so uh basically we have hello world and it's it changes between hello and world and as you can see on pinnacle's website they change between design and development and you could do something similar and i think there are plugins that help you achieve this effect but we don't need more plugins right we always say less is more with plugins all right so let me comment this out and let's see what is happening on the front end right let's go it's happening a little bit fast you could uh slow it down if you want make this a bit bigger and let me explain to you what you can do so these letters are the letters that you see as the word scramble so let's go back again and you see zero one zero one zero one it's just what is uh scrambling so you could change this to x x x x x x x whatever let's publish <laughs> and let's have a look right of course make it capital because otherwise it looks funky okay i'm gonna revert to 0101 let me publish again and i have uh selected the h1 and if we go to the first heading it's an h1 if you want it to be a p let's set it to p and now let's go to our uh query selector and switch and change it to a uh, ap and that's the only place where you have to change that one let's see if that still works it still works because it works all right i will leave it as a p and as you can see i have some comments here uh you can switch these worlds so let's say hey and woo okay i should have them in cap caps but whatever hey woo hey woo right <laughs> so that's where you change that i'm gonna switch it back and if you want the animation to be slower you can change it here let's say 70. all right let's see how much slower this goes now it is a bit slow right let's increase it to 170. let's see how slow is that I think this is a bit too slow anyway this is for you to decide how fast or how slow this should go i am going to revert back to 40. 
I kind of like that, it's the sweet spot. So this is one version, the infinite scramble that we see here on Pinnacle's website, right? That's one idea for a hero section where you can have that scrambling in the heading and it gives that cool effect. All right, I'm gonna comment this out because we don't need it anymore. And now let's do a hover effect. So let me uncomment this. Actually, this should be commented out as well. All right, let's publish and let's see what happens on the front end. Why, where do we have that? Ah, yes, <laughs> this needs to be commented out. All right, oops, publish. And let's go and have a look. And look at this. You hover over it, hover. This is a P, so it doesn't work. Let's go to our code and let's have a look. So as you can see, uh, we have an H1 and we have the Elementorum button text. So these two are H1s. Let's just go and have a look if you don't trust me. <laughs> They're H1s, yeah? And if you want to replace the the selectors you replace them here 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 and also here and here okay okay so let's go back to this and as you can see this works perfectly fine but we need to do something special for the buttons because the buttons uh, are quite tricky in terms of design so I have some custom CSS on them. Let me, I think I put the code in the container here. So let's go to custom CSS. All right, as you can see, the Elementor button class has some custom CSS. We need to set a width, a fixed width. Otherwise the buttons will kind of move as the text shuffles. So if I delete this, okay, let me, actually just delete the comment and comment this out let's publish and let's have a look what to see what happens and uh, you see this is not a good look i don't like this where the button kind of like jig jigs as it scrambles so i'm gonna leave that in and you can set it whatever you want yes i know you can do that with the native width in elementor in the advanced tab but it doesn't work all right so you need to apply some custom css to this and that's what we have here okay let me just go back to this this code is a must just saying you can of course change the width let's say to 100 or 120 or 50 or whatever you need uh, make sure that publish and it's done let's have another look and as you see the button stays in place i think this is so cool i like how fast this goes and how cool it looks and again let's go back let's go back to the code and again you can replace this with whatever you want you can just say zero 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 or let's say zero many 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 many, many, many zeros let's publish have a look it doesn't have the same cool effect yeah but again as i said it's up to you and what you want this to look like all right and the final version of this effect is the on load. So let me uh, comment this out and let's comment this out, off. We have an H1, all right, let's publish and let's see how this works. And this works only for one H1, just like that as i'm loading the page as you can see right and let's see if we replace this with the p if it works 
And that's it in this code. Let's publish. Now we'll return to this. As you can see now, the P works. So again, uh, you can change the speed of the animation here as well as here. So let's say 7,000, let's see what happens. It also works on hover. And also on load. So it's like a double effect. And I think this is a great effect if you want something else, something more interesting, something cooler, depending on what kind of website you are building. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.